Um, very similar. I think the the way that I bowled with Gaz last year, he very much played a played a holding role. Um, I think the revo- the roles are reversing a little bit with Ashton in terms of the fact that, as you saw the other day, he bowled probably later in the innings, where last year that was that was me. Um, it might swap around um, con- depending on the situations and things like that. But um, yeah, one of us will play that holding role for sure, and then. With playing two spinners, someone's going to have to bowl quite deep in the inning, so one of us is going to have to play that role as well. But um, both really good guys to, to bowl with. I think just playing with two spinners, it's really important to communicate the conditions and, and communicate plans and little things like that. Um, it's got to be an attacking approach. I think if you're on the back foot and you have a defensive mindset, then um, that's when he can get on top of you. But I think the the most important thing playing in places like India against these guys is having a little bit of character. You probably know that you're going to get hit for boundaries, but it can really get worse if you if you make that affect you, I guess. Um, so Virat, I've got him a few times now, but in saying that, I don't think there's anything in it. I think you know he still scores at over 100 uh, strike rate against me, well over 100. Um, so yeah, he's he's a hard, very hard guy to bowl to, but um, yeah, I've had. A couple of occasions where I've dismissed him, and um, yeah, and luckily the other day I think it was one of those ones where you bowl a bad ball to him, he can get on top of you. But if you let that affect you, it gets on top of you even more. So um, yeah, he's a, he's one of the toughest guys I've ever ever had to bowl to. You, you know that, um, particularly after game one, game two coming up tomorrow, I think he's going to be even more switched on. So it's a it's a big challenge. Um, yeah, I suppose to answer your questions. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big compliment from Virat, that's for sure. I think um, from like a personal point of view, I, I'm i not the most skillful leg spinner in the world, that's for sure. You know, guys like Kuldeep Yadav and um, you know Rashid Khan, they're guys that are basically really hard to pick and have beautiful skill. Um, I think one of the most important things that I've always tried to do is have strong character. Um, yeah, so I think... To have it like to be a wrist spinner in one day cricket in the middle overs is not easy at all. Um, it's probably one of the hardest formats, at least in T20 cricket. You've five blokes out the whole time. You know that guys are going to attack you. Um, that's fine, but one day cricket's a whole different beast. So um, yeah, from my point of view, character is important. Um, and yeah, I th- we've spoken about the series and how important this series is, particularly after disappointing end to the World Cup and we've spoken about how important it is just to move on from that um, and that we're, we can achieve something pretty special here. Um, we played really well those last three ODIs in February um, so yeah it's going to be a big deal if we can get two away series wins in a row in India. It's a, it's a pretty amazing feat so we have spoken about that briefly. Um, I think it's, it's basically we just find that Virat finds leg spinners hard to line up early in his innings, to be honest. Um, he's such a great starter. You even saw the other day, 16 or 14 or whatever it was, how much energy he brought to the crease. He's running between the wickets. Some of the cover drives he played off the quicks. Um, I think it's important just to try and have a game plan to him. Um, so, yeah, we just we figured out that last game we thought that it would be good to um, start with leg spin to him so it might be different next game but um, yeah I've, as it's been mentioned I've got him out four times in the last year or so so um, it's nice to have that confidence to, to be able to start he to, be able to bowl to him at the start of his innings I guess yeah yeah I'll, I'll, this is my third tour now um, and the two previous have gone literally the total opposite ways we had a really good series last year and then the one before that we had an absolute meltdown um, so yeah I think just not putting too much pressure on yourself you know that you're expected to, to perform well here but I think you see with a lot of the scores throughout India particularly at the, the small grounds like Mumbai and Bengal they're quite a high scoring you know you're going to get hit to the fence sometimes it's just about simplifying it playing your role um, I know my role re- really well in this team so um, yeah I know what I've got to do if it doesn't pay off that day then it doesn't pay off that day but it's just trying to really simplify things. No, I don't think that's a true statement. I think, as you mentioned earlier, Virat said that I was one of the bowlers last year that um, had great character for us, so I don't think he doesn't respect me. Um, 
So, yeah, I don't know if that's true. I just think, yeah, no, nah, I don't think that's. Yeah, I, I love bowling with um, two spinners. It's the T20 World Cup coming up. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be. Uh, it's been mentioned. I think at the start of the home summer where we're really looking at our game plan and how we maybe go about playing two spinners in the in the World Cup. So, um, yeah, I personally I like doing it for Australia. I love doing it. Um, I love playing with two wrist spinners. I love playing with Sandeep and Stars. Um, any team that I've ever played with two spinners, you know, I definitely enjoy having that little bit of like, you know, not just being the only spinner in the team. It's quick's batsman and then the one lone spinner. I prefer definitely prefer if there's there's two in the team. It's a it can be a pretty hostile place to play sometimes. It's definitely um, the roars, some of the roars that you hear at an Indian, like when Virat comes out for the warm up, it's ridiculous. Or like last year when MS would walk out or even just walk out of the door to the veranda or something, the roars were unbelievable. Yeah, it was, it was quite quiet the other night. I think it was a pretty dominating performance. We, we speak about trying to minimalise the crowd effect, um, keeping them out of the game as well because obviously having that behind you helps. So, yeah, the other night it, was, uh, it definitely helped us.